Does this ever happen to you? Your hoses are a tangled, unorganized mess. Everything tangled up like a big rat's nest. Well, we've got a solution for you. Today, we're gonna to talk about a couple great products by Outback Wrap to control this tangled mess and identify your hoses properly. We're gonna to get to that in just a minute, but I wanna remind you, if you like this video, I'd love to get a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button below if you wanna see more videos. And if you're looking for something for your machine, head on over to goodworkstractors.com. And as always, we are proud to be sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. If you're looking for a stability solution for your tractor, feeling a little tippy side to side, check out Bora, link down below. As with a lot of the products found on my channel, it was submitted to me by a viewer, somebody who watched and found this product and thought it worked great for them, maybe it worked great for others. So when I looked up their website and saw these couple of products, saw the price point, I thought, yeah, they're onto something. This could be something everybody could use. It's super cheap. It might be the best 10 bucks you ever spent. So I reached out to the folks over at Outback Wrap and we had a deal set up. They are now part of the GWT Discount Club. And guess what? They are the first member to offer 10% off, not five, but 10% off to you guys if you order on their website. Use code GWT when you place your order right at Outback Wrap, not through me. Go to their website and place your order. Now we all have hoses all over our tractors, whether it's for the loader or maybe a third function or diverter, maybe it's attachments on the back, it could be a hydraulic top or a tilt link, it could be loader mounted grapples or snow blades, all sorts of stuff. And oftentimes you're going to have these extra hoses that are kind of just there, you know, they're, they kind of look sloppy and just like you want to do something with them but you don't know what. Now oftentimes the standard hydraulics are going to have a cover or a sheath of some kind that comes uh, from the factory like this one here on the John Deere but anything else that's additional is going to be outside of that and oftentimes you'll see these uh, original sleeves get damaged and start to fray and come apart too and you want something to kind of hold it all together and organize it. And you'll even see we do have electrical harnesses going up into the engine compartment as well. And we've done our best right now to hold things together with zip ties, which is not ideal. You'll hear reports over time of those zip ties kind of wearing because it's on a very small spot. So wearing right through that protective rubber sheath or outer material and then uh, causing premature damage to your hydraulic hoses. Well, this is a better way. So that's, there we go. I'm not gonna worry about the electric right now. Nice. Well, this actually cleaned it up pretty well right down here. This is a, a very, it's rigid but flexible as far as uh, that seems probably contradictory, but it's, um, Took me a minute to figure out how to put it on there, but you kind of just, well, you can see it in the video there. You just take it and wrap it around. It really holds its shape very well and took all four, there's four hoses inside here and it just, you know, it organized it and cleaned it up very nicely there instead of having a bunch of hoses that were up here and kind of spread all over the place. I would say the name is pretty appropriate being called the hose tamer because it is working just like it's supposed to. Let's go find something else to tame. So one of the ways that you work efficiently and safely is with muscle memory. And by having corresponding hose markers, you're gonna see there's a 1A and a 1B and they're different lengths. So they're very easy to visually identify. You're always plugging in your hoses to the same outlets every time instead of maybe flip-flopping them. When I'm hooking up my grapple, it's so easy to get the hoses flip-flop in the wrong outlets. And this is gonna help keep it so that I'm always plugging in the same hose to the same outlet every time so that when I hit that button, it always opens up instead of sometimes hitting the button and it wants to close and I have to hit the other button to get it to open up. So that defeats the whole purpose. This is gonna streamline that process. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the shoot rotation as my first function. And so we'll uh, get one of these on here. Cool. Let 
Boom. Function one is done. Boom. All right, well, we got them all marked now, all identified. And it feels nice. It feels like there's a little organization going on. It took all of five minutes, if that, but easy to do. They stay right in place as well. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the hose tamer on and get that done as well. Well, these two hoses are probably too short to include, so I'm gonna set those aside, but there's a lot of extra length here on the other two sets. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap those, get them tamed under control. there we go got the identifiers and the tamer all here you're gonna notice these guys the blue hose the blue marker extend way longer right and it seems like it's out of proportion but these two hoses are tied into the deflector all right and this deflector can spin around as the chute spins around and so you have to have that additional length when it's gonna turn around and face all the way over there or rotate back around and face the other way. So that's why these hoses are a lot longer. They just need to have more room. Now the hoses for my top and tilt have always kind of bugged me. I feel like there's a lot of exposed areas, especially down below near the PTO shaft. And I think this is gonna be a good opportunity for the hose tamer just to provide some more or better all around protection down below. But since we have it, we're gonna do it up top as well. Get these zip ties off of here, which really at this point aren't causing any damage that I can see. I guess maybe a little bit of wear underneath there. It is a long-term concern though. Oh, there we go. That looks a lot better. So this is so much better. I have those hoses that were hanging down low, way up high and secured all together. They're away as well. That was another problem I had was I was always afraid of them getting pinched or bound up between the quick hitch. You know, when the cylinder would fully retract, I didn't want the, the hose to get bound up in between there. So this keeps everything high up out of the way. I really like that. So these products by Outback Wrap are gonna be made from a polyethylene, which means that as part of the molding process, the color is gonna be all through the product. So it's not gonna fade or wear away. They're also gonna have laser engraving. So everything that you see on there, all the markings, the 1A, 1B, Outback Wrap, whatever it says on there is gonna be laser engraved so it's not gonna rub off. So if you're looking for a solution that can help you identify, organize, and protect your hydraulic hoses, check out Outback Wrap. You get 10% off using code GWT by directly from the manufacturer. Hey, so if you know of a product that you found very helpful, I would love to hear about it too. That way I can share it with the rest of the tractor community. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more. And if you're looking for something for your tractor, check out goodworkstractors.com. Thanks for stopping by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.